friends it's Betsy I know it's been a while since I've been on here but I wanted to share my latest project uh, I'd hope to videotape it while I was making it but it just didn't work out it took me about two weeks to do and the video would have been way way too long so I just thought I would show you my finished product that I'm I'm pretty happy with overall. Um, my inspiration for this project came from Ellen J. Goods. I believe the lady's name is Lynn, not Ellen, but her company is called Ellen J. Goods. And if you haven't heard of her, please check her out. Um, she makes wonderful things and she has inspired me a lot. I don't think I would have tried this project had I not see, seen her do it. I tried to make mine different. Um, hers was a bit more subtle in color. I don't know what size hers was, but I think it was bigger than mine. Mine is uh, seven, about 7 by 9. And um, I tried to make my layout a little differently. But overall, I was definitely inspired by her creation, and please make sure you check hers out, too, uh, if this inspires you at all. So, the first thing I did was I bought a slab or a piece of wood, just raw, raw wood, a slice, I guess you could call it. I guess you would call it. <laughs> uh, I got it off Amazon. I checked around, and... They had the best price. I looked on Etsy, I looked all over, and I really think they have the best price. Uh, I know it was under $10 for this. So this is what you get. It looks like this. It comes in different sizes. You can get small up to really big. And I thought right away I would put in my little hanger so I wouldn't have to worry about doing that later when my project was done. You know, I, I wouldn't want to crush my molds or make any crack. So I made sure to do that. And the next thing I did on on this side when it was just like, like this, I covered it with stain, an aging stain. Um, let's see if I can find it here in my mess. Mm. I don't see it, but it was similar to this. Um, this is by Waverly. It's um, uh, a wax and it's in the color antique wax. This works great too. This wasn't what I used, but it's very similar to it. And I would recommend this also. It also seals the wood and protects it. And so that was the first thing I did. And then I wiped that off. Um, but, you know, it, it did leave a nice... Uh, light brown stain to it and sealed the wood. So after that I thought well, what am I going to do next? Um, I did a little crackling on it with my two-step um, classic crackle varnish by Pentart. Uh, I just did it around the edges which you probably can't tell now with everything on it but I did do that around the edges then after that, I decided I wanted to give it a little bit of texture before I put my molds on. So I used a, a stencil, a flourish stencil, and I used this clear gel medium. 
by the Crafters Workshop in Matt. And that gave me a little bit of a raised flourish effect once that was dried. And at that point, I started using some waxes. I used um I used this green wax paste by Pentart. I'll show you what that looks like. And I just took my finger and I went around all over. Then I wiped that off a bit. Then I used a little bit of the bronze Pentart wax paste. That's what that looks like. This is one of my favorites. And I used that here and there all over. So that was my base. I let that dry. And then I proceeded to make all my molds. So I knew I wanted to make a whole lot of different ones. I used the brand new um, IOD mold. I'll show it to you here. There were two of them that I got. Um, this one, if you haven't seen this yet, oops, it's upside down. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. What does that say? Dewdrop, Dewdrop Pond. That's the name of this one. It's just the, I, don't, I absolutely love this mold. And I used my mushroom mold. This is called Toadstool. And both, as I said, are by IOD, which they make wonderful, wonderful molds. And so I used my air dry clay for that. Um, I use a variety of air dry clay. Uh, I actually used three different types on this project. I used um, the IOD air dry clay. That clay is a little bit a little harder, not not a lot, but it's a little bit harder to um, knead. You have to knead it first to soften it up. But I love it. I mean, it works great on their molds, and I would recommend it. The other mold I used for some of my smaller little pieces was um, the Hardy Soft Clay, which you can get from Amazon. And... Um, that's a great clay too, especially if you have arthritis in your hands. You don't need to knead that at all. It's very soft right out of the package. And the third clay I used was my creative, let's see, what is that called? Oh, hold on just a second and I'll tell you. Here's the hardy soft. It's my creative, creative clay, I guess, creative paper, looks like creative paper clay, and then I have my IOD clay. So I keep them all in a plastic bag and I keep it tightly uh, contained. So after I got all my molds done, and got them out. I let them dry and I sealed them with a top coat. I use this soft touch varnish and it helps a little bit to keep from them cracking or drying out and I also think it makes them, you know, it seals them and hopefully will preserve them a bit uh, longer. I really don't know how long these molds last. I don't know if anyone else knows that answer to that question. I mean, will they last for years and years and years? I have no clue. If you know the answer to that, let me know below. Um, but I always like to put a top coat on them because I figure it's it'll help. <laughs> so after they were all dry, then I started painting. And that took me <laughs> quite a while. Um, the thing I that I used the most were my Arteza, you see that? Arteza watercolor brushes. I have about 24 of these. Comes in a pack from um, Amazon again. 
has a variety of colors, different shades of the same color, so you can do a lot of shading. Uh, I like them also because you can uh, put some water on your paper and dab it and you can make it lighter or darker. And that's what I tried to do. I tried not to have it all be the same green. You know, I put some different shades of green. And then after I did all of that, did my initial painting uh, and let that dry, then I came back in and put some more touches of the bronze um, wax paste on top. And I will say, I had a little trouble with the red because I first I felt it was a little too bold. I wanted to give it a more aged look, so I really played with that a lot and um, tried to get it where it looked kind of worn and more of a rustic red. For the dragonfly, I used a little bit of iridescent powder on that. Um, I believe I used the Perfect Pearls by Ranger for that. And um, I also put on a little bit of Tim Holtz Distress Wax. Here it is. Distress Glaze, rather. I used that, and that held on the powders and helped me blend those in. Yeah, so I tried to do a lot of blending, and um, I found this little fairy mold on, I think it was Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. It was mainly used, it's mainly used for a soap. It's one of those three-dimensional molds. And I just pushed my clay down inside of it and carefully pulled her out and then flattened her on the back so that she fit there. Looks like a dog hair there. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and finally, I had a space here. I wasn't sure what I wanted to put, but I found this quote on Pinterest. Uh, the true secret of happiness lies in taking a genuine interest in all the details of daily life. I just thought that was perfect for this uh, plaque because um, there are quite a few details and you know, it's great when, when you can take time and notice the details that nature gives to us. They're, they're just so beautiful. It's so many beautiful things to see in nature. Um, so I worked with that. This is actually a little piece of um, cotton that I printed uh, this quote on. That quote was by William Morris. Um, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's, he was a famous English artist, designer, made beautiful fabric designs, wallpaper designs. And um, <clears throat> so that, I love him. I love his work so much. So that was perfect. And uh, that was, that's about it. Um, I think I need to glue that down a little more. That little mushroom stem's a little bit loose there. But I had such a good time making this and um, just wanted to share that with you today. And I'm on my third project now, which I'll be sharing the second one and the third as well in the next few weeks. So thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. And take care everyone. Bye-bye.